What's up guys, Bearded here, and welcome back to Life is Strange. Um, I've decided that I'm not going to like start and stop, or like do my intro and outro at each episode. I'm just basically going to do like a, a mass recording, and then just like make it look like it's, it keeps going, so, so to speak, or whatever, so to say. And uh, I'm going to do the same thing with uh, any other game of this style, like... Uh, Soma and all that. So, yeah, I think we have to go into the dorms or something. I like how he just nudged us. Can we talk to him? No. Justin, it's been so long since I've seen you. Because you're way too cool for us. <laughs> he just like went through us. Way too much shit going on, man. Elisa, why you play hard to get when you're already hard to want? So I hear. Oh, that's. Dude, I wish. Mm. I'm working on it. I miss her. I, I like how they use the meme thing. What's this building yeah. permit? Look, uh, uh, yeah, the look. <laughs> Good thing I didn't let Chloe take that money from Principal Wells. Huh. Uh oh, Kate Memorial still <gasps> here. My sweet Kate. Um, oh, can we talk to, uh... I had to clear away Graham. another batch of dead birds today. Get that Sad. drone out of here. Me mad. The fuck did it go? Climate change I hear it. My ass. I, there it is, there it is, there it is. is changing here. Who's... As a scientist, I'm who's controlling it? As Michelle Grant, I'm is it her? Okay, must be her. I'll, I'll go talk too. to her in a sec. Look. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. I'm still bragging about you and the other students making Blackwell surveillance free. Recent events, Nathan. Recent I events. was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. Mm. Eh. There, there could be a scientific explanation, but right now it seems like it's beyond science, so I'm going to go with beyond science. I think this is beyond science. Nothing is beyond science except for our lack of knowledge. We may never know why, but that doesn't change reality. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not misty. That drone. It's erosion. You think that's why all these animals are dying here? Well, our shoreline has been receding. Not to mention the daily contamination of the ocean. That's all you need to kill off sea and wildlife here. Unless you know something I don't. <laughs> yeah, I, I time travel. Uh, nothing strange about that. Um, Tabanga? What, what is that? I wonder if the Tabanga knows more than anybody here. Oh, Max, nobody even knows who brought the Tabanga here. It was likely stolen from the South Pacific by local fishermen. But I know what you're saying. There's a lot of energy here. What's I don't think surveillance would have helped Kate Marsh. Oh, Max. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. Kate was the sweetest student I've ever met at Blackwell. And they can be so cruel to each other. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Um. Uh, Blackwell needs help. Uh... Blackwell Academy needs the help. There's something terrible going on here. You see it, right? This week hasn't been Blackwell's finest hour. But me and some faculty members won't rest until all the students here feel safe, not bullied. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. I don't mean to get riled up. But that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. 
Prescott's or Principal Wells. Uh, let's go with the Prescott's. Do the Prescott's have anything to do with the Vortex Club? I mean, they don't get all their money from car washes. No, they don't. But membership has its privileges. Especially when your father is Blackwell's biggest sponsor. This elitist nonsense has no place here. You're right. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. But you're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. Shots were fired by uh, Miss Grant. I was looking for Nathan Prescott, and I thought he might be in your class. Mr. Prescott has no class at all after his suspension. I didn't think you were friends. Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. Sorry, Miss Grant. You're an adult. You can swear, damn it. <laughs> and I'm glad you did. So, you haven't seen Nathan at all? Let's just say I try not to, Max. But I did catch him storming off campus. After what happened this week, I hope you don't see him either. You're not the best student here, but you... You might be the wisest. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. Good. Nathan is not around. Not to I should go back to mind. Chloe. You're not the best, but you might be the wisest. Is she telling me that I am not a good student? <laughs> that seems offensive almost. How are you doing, Max? Been a oh, tough week. You sound so I creepy. Know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. Uh, uh, let's just go with Arcadia Bay. I still have a million questions about what's happening to Arcadia Bay. Th that must be why Miss Gant says you're one of her favorite students at Blackwell. Gant? You just said Miss Gant. Rachel Eclipse Vortex Club. Um, I'm just gonna leave. I'm sorry. I better get going now. He, he is kind of so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. Excuse me? I'm right fucking here. Right here in your face. You, you jealous of me or something? Why does the camera it's shake? Not like hey, Brooke. How are uh, you? Considering what happened to Kate, I could be better. Are you okay? Uh... I don't know. I'll ask about the drone in a second. Let's go with Nathan. I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies with him and everything. Come on, Brock. Don't be that way. Nathan was suspended, but he should still be on campus. Warren's not good enough for you? Is that lightning in the background? Okay. I saw Nathan pissed and walking off campus earlier. Good luck getting that date, Max. Why are you so I, I can't get my limited brain around that <clears throat> eclipse and the beached whales. I was hoping the science department had some ideas. Warren and I are supposed to compare notes and theories this weekend. That makes sense. Um... Oh, he asked you? You know, science geeks stick together. But honestly, neither of us can explain this phenomenon. It's pretty scary. I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my drone. Really? I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. My drone needs me. That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. You just repeated the first thing you said, and you're quite being you're being quite a bitch towards me right now. Does what does it's that say? It's not like I don't own all the original Apes films. I don't know if she's jealous or not. 
or if she's just upset that her her geek friend is is going maybe I should else. have asked Warren to go. I think she is jealous the way she's talking. I'm gonna look. Brooke doesn't look happy that I'm going ape with Warren. Yeah, I think she's jealous. So is is oh that's. I should go check inside. Okay, yeah, we are supposed to go in, in the dorm. Um, I thought we were supposed to, like, investigate and talk to everybody. I basically wasted time. Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ugh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. She's so into uh, Mr. Jefferson. That it's so was lame. We don't have co-ed dorms here. Thing. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. Oh, right, we're not supposed to... Fuck that dorm cookie shit. We're 18. And after what happened to Kate, yeah, I feel so bad for her and her family. That's why you're so hot. <laughs> because you care. I'm here with you, right? Um... That voice sounded familiar. Okay, we're supposed to investigate all the slates, I'm guessing? Like, what's this? Oh, why, hello, Trevor. And Dana. Okay, so it's Trevor. I, I thought it sounded familiar, but I didn't realize it was his. Sit and shit. <laughs> Dorm think tank. Welcome to Blackwell. Black, oh, Black smell. <laughs> Free glory hole. I can't even read that. But it looks like a wine glass. Anyways. Even after Kate, nobody here learned anything about bullying. Can I has art? Is that what it's saying? And then they drew a bunch of dicks. Look. Oh, jerks. At least nobody messed with the Kate portrait. Cry, hipster, cry, seriously. Wow. Oh, I don't even need to click back. I can just uh, right click and it, it works. Bigfoot's got big balls. Zach or Logan? Who knows? Bro's got a bro. I guess. Can't read that. Fire alarm. It's all good in the woods. Ugh, skunk weed and video games. I sense Hayden is near. From what I've been told, I think Skunkwee is pretty this strong. This can only be Nathan's room. The Prescott's rule this town. Okay, so that's Nathan's room. Whose room is this? Look. Sorry, Kate. Oh, it's... Looks like one of the jocks did care about Kate. There is no unique picture of reality, Stephen Hawking. Hello, Warren's room. Huh? Hawking and him make a good team. This is Warren's. Poor Warren. This is the work of Nathan. He's so lucky I'm a pacifist. <laughs> You'd think bullying is only in high school, but no, it's everywhere. At least so far, I haven't noticed it at the university here. Most universities tend to keep it on a down low, but... Are we actually going to break in like this? Alright. That was left on for some reason. Project. Now I need to find Nathan's phone. Or anything with clues. I got a really bad itch on my leg and it is bothering me. Max, now that David is not here, I need Chloe to step up and stop acting out so much, but 
That won't happen if you and her are getting mixed up in illegal crap like breaking into Blackwell at night. I know what happened, so don't bother to defend or explain. Uh, I for some reason I got lost. Uh, I hoped you would get back. Wait, I hoped you would get her back on the right track, but it looks like she's getting stuck again. You could be such a good influence on her, unless you both want to play bad. But she can't keep blaming David now. I'm sorry, Joyce. Even I get into shenanigans, but I am trying to be a good influence on Chloe. I know, Max. I forget you're still teenage adults. How can you be an adult if you're a teenager? I don't get this part. Oh, it's probably the, the, the nesting. Um, uh, okay, so I think we're here. Of course, it was much easier for me to explore David's garage since Joyce booted his ass out. That made Chloe more con content that I've just about seen her since I returned. I still feel kind of bad for David, but he overstepped his authority, dismissed, and it's so much easier to grab David's X-Files when he's not there. After we gathered our new info like Halloween treats, I love watching Chloe go into Sherlock mode while we examined all of our clues in our big old drawing board. Of course, we all know that's more of a Dr. Watson, right? Elementary. Honestly, with all of the impending doom and sadness I felt so happy just to find myself back in action with my best friend and her butterfly blue hair hella yes and a drawing okay it must be on her mind or something uh, so now we're looking for something damn Nathan that's a nice shot if only all your energy went into photography. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. And the birds are dead. MP3 player. Look. Yes, I would be cool with having this high-tech projector. Okay. Uh, Nathan clearly has his fetish down. I have no idea what that was, but okay. That is so Chloe. Hey asshole, we need to talk, or I'm going to tell everybody what you did, and you're going to you're going to pay me. Oh my finger. god, Chloe! Oh, Chloe! What the? That doesn't look good. Um That's so cute and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still has it around. Oh, camera, here we go. That monochrome <coughs> camera is brand new and cost about six grand. Bastard. Lens. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again. The Prescott's rule. Pills? I don't think this prescription has helped, Nathan. Uh, look. I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. <laughs> I wore a sailor suit when I was, uh, fairly young. I think I was five, maybe. Uh. <coughs> Excuse me. I wonder if we still have that, uh,. Or if my parents still have that sailor's hat. Wouldn't that be funny just wearing like this tiny little sailor's hat on, on a stream or something? Or even in a video. Nathan Prescott. All American teen. This looks like a porn magazine. <laughs> What's that? Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... A gift? Someone gave it to him? Huh. DVDs. These films all have a dark pattern. 
Nathan likes his tortured subjects. This room is like Nathan's mind. Yeah, that's typically how most rooms are. Let's see what Nathan hides in here. Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. Uh, to Victoria from Nathan. Hey, gorgeous, let me know what you're wearing to the Vortex this week so I can wear something just as styling and expensive. I'm psyched about going and I'm picking up some serious potty favors. I even told my dad to keep the pigs away from Blackwell so we can get wrecked without hassle. If we're going to have an end of the world theme, then let's do it fucking on point, right? Hmm. Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. And why Kate will get justice. October 2013, party hard, Kate. Kate's gone wild. God damn. Oh, man. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Nate, I know this has been a stressful week, and your mother and I are here to talk, if need be. Just make an appointment anytime. Appointment? Uh, your mother wants Dr. Bill to come out after his book tour, but for now, let's stick to your prescriptions. I need you calm and quiet while Panastase is being developed. I know being a Prescott is a burden, and I'll guide you into this room step by step, as did my father. It was hard for me when my dad opened my eyes to our destiny, but you'll thank me someday. Don't worry about Blackwell. This shithole town is going to get an enema along with a fresh brand. I want you to be ready to take over when the moment is right. Don't fuck it up, son, your father. If there was ever a town that had, like, a millionaire running it like this... I'd get the hell out of there. Like, I wouldn't even go anywhere near it for whatever reason. But, I mean, if they, if there was a millionaire, but he was, like, nice and, like, giving to the community and stuff and not, like, controlling it for his own reasons, like, or for the wrong reasons, I should say, then that's fine. But other than Too that... Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. And far away. Uh, Tudo Bem from Brazil. I guess that means hello or something. Um, little brother, it's been too long since I've heard from you, so please let me know what's going on in your exciting scholastic life at Blackwell. I brag to all my co-workers and the Peace Corps that my talented bro Nate got a full scholarship to one of the best art schools in the world. Even though I can't always check my mail or phone, please, please, please send me some new photos of campus so I can live vicariously through your lens i miss you and your pictures and yes mother told me you've been in trouble and father has been on your ass but you have to either ignore him or stand up to him you know i love dad nate but i'm also in a jungle halfway across the world because of him really he's a bully who inherited power not wisdom and the only way to win against one is to fight back don't let him change you into one just for the family legacy End of lecture. You're at school, so I just wanted to make you feel at home. Back to Mangrove. Sending out good thoughts. Better write back or I'll have a Jaguar shipped to your door. <laughs> um, so it seems like it's mainly the father that's like in control. And he's, he's like the main guy, I guess, that is really causing all the trouble. So... I guess Nathan's not all that bad. It's kind of his father that's making him do uh, that way. But, uh, yeah, because by the sounds of his sister, she doesn't sound half that bad. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. $250 for 100 pills? That's nuts. Wow. Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. Nathan, I'd like to apologize for the recent accusation. Your name and record speak for itself. Sometimes students will use that to make their own name at Blackwell. I know your father was upset while I have assured him that you would never bring a weapon to school. I don't want you distracted from school, and I'm certain this matter will be settled by the end of the week. If you have any questions, you know I'm always available to talk. Jeez. Um, do I still need to look at... Oh, scratch marks. What 
the hell are all those marks on the floor? Something behind the couch? Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. Alright. Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Thank you guys for watching, and be sure to leave a like if you've enjoyed, as it does help me out a lot. If you like the music you're currently listening to, click the music icon. And if you want, check out my other various social medias by clicking the logos or by checking the description box down below. Also, don't forget to check out my fellow YouTube friends in the list on my channel to the right side. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and be a part of the Clouder today. It's like chowder, but with cats.